Making its debut in Abstraction Now, The Council, The Lost City, is amongst the first in the series created this year based on my personal research on the lost cities mentioned in the Quran. One of them is Iram. The legacy of Iram, the city of pillars, the story of the tribe of Ad, their ways of life, the destruction of the entire city and tribe. Dubbed the Atlantis of the Sand, significant archaeological discovery of 20th century revealed rich cultural history, astonishing monument, lofty building, assuming power unrivaled by any other civilization in Arabia. The art tribe lived during the period after Noah, built monuments on elevated places, a location referred as al aqaf the sandy plains, or the wind-curved sand hills. The entire tribe were swept away by a violent wind, destroying the city entirely without any trace except for some dwellings. It is a journey of self-reflection. A realignment of visual I pursue to present, always searching for new ways of looking and experiencing my own art making. I am always finding ways to make my art making much more sustainable by reusing the waste from my paintings. The visuals are inspired by the surroundings in the city, my hometown, from my travels and residencies locally and abroad. The littlest things can inspire me in many ways, viewing them at a macroscopic and microscopic level. On materials, there's the usual acrylic paints, other than the more challenging materials such as resin, wood, and metal which I find pleasure in working with. Coming back to abstraction now, the paintings are straightforward in terms of techniques. One of the sketches are done on the canvas. I use the conventional acrylic paint, adding commercial painting paste and recycled acrylic compound to allow a sort of sculpting work on the canvas. However, once all the foundation steps are done, the act of scrapping, erasing, and deleting will then begin. And the cycle of painting and erasing will continue over several layers of acrylic paints until the final visual is revealed. Beside painting, I also run a woodworking studio when I produce sculptures made of wood and metal. Co-currently working on wood, sculpture, and painting. Enjoy!